Good morning, guys. <laughs> so we are here waiting for to board the Grand Canyon Railway train, and it's going to actually take us to the Grand Canyon, the South Rim. Um, we have about probably like five more minutes. So let me give you a quick tour of the depot, and then we'll board the train. train. Hi guys, so we are boarded on the Grand Canyon Railway train and we are in coach class. Um, we're also on the 1030 departure time. There's two departure times. You can either depart at 930 or 1030. Um, we chose the latter one because we are not morning people. Um, there's also multiple train cars. So there's like the Pullman class, there's coach, and then there's first class and then there's like a luxury dome. Um, we are doing just coach class. I think our tickets, uh, our tickets, I think were about $75 a person, but we are going to be, I'll show you guys the ride over there and I'm really excited. We're going to go to the Grand Canyon, walk around and we'll bring you with us. As of July, 2021, they do still require masks when you're on the train. So make sure that you bring one with you if you are planning on riding the train. Even though Arizona itself does not require them if you're vaccinated, the train still requires them even if you are vaccinated. So just make sure that you have a mask with you. And um, I think that's it for right now. So we will catch up with you guys as soon as we get to the Grand Canyon. Okay guys, so we are here at the Grand Canyon, as you can maybe see behind me, it's right here. And it's, the camera definitely does not do it justice. It is so large and so majestic and it definitely is worth coming to check out. Um, it's just crazy to think how long this has existed here and all the different layers that are here. So let me give you a little bit of footage of the canyon and then we're gonna go find some food and have a picnic at the Grand Canyon. Okay guys, so for lunch, there's a couple of options if you're here at the South Rim. We chose to eat at the Fred Harvey food truck. Um, now just be wary, the line gets really long for that place, so just be ready to stand in line, but it moves fairly quickly. Um, they have things like hot dogs, they have Nathan hot do Nathan's hot dogs, um, and then they also have an Impossible Burger and or Beyond Burger, one of those, and then um, a burrito. So kind of a weird mix of things, but um, we ended up getting hot dogs and chips. But if you don't wanna wait in line, there are a couple of restaurants you can go to. Um, inside of the, oh, I'm forgetting the name of it. El Tovar, thank you. <laughs> Inside of the El Tavar, there is a full service restaurant. You do need to make advanced reservations. And there's also a couple other um, sit down restaurants, like kind of dotted along the canyon um, walkway. So definitely check the website though, because some of them are open, some of them are closed depending on the weather and the day. And make sure that you allot enough time. It usually is about an hour to eat it. One of the things that you have to come and check out if you're here at the Grand Canyon South Rim is called the Hopi House. And it's actually modeled after an old school style Hopi home. Um, they have branches and the uh, like thatchery on the top. And then inside is actually a gift shop. So they have a whole bunch of really neat souvenirs, lots of like artwork and just kind of neat like baskets and other like clay items. Um, they have some beautiful artwork or if you're looking for things like t-shirts or just regular souvenirs, they do have that as well. So if you're here at the Grand Canyon South Rim, make sure to stop by and check out the Hopi House. 
Okay guys, so there is a sign that says caution low door, but I don't think that's a problem for me. <laughs> I am here inside of the El Tavar Lodge and this place is so cool. There is so much history attached and there's been a lot of different people who have come through thinking like presidents and other uh, celebrities that have come in and stayed here. Um, Teddy Roosevelt was famous for coming and spending a few days at a time here and he actually has some of his taxidermy stuff on the wall which is pretty amazing. So. Um, they do have a full restaurant, which is here behind me. You do need reservations for that, but the menu looked pretty good. Um, they do book up very quickly though, so definitely go on and make reservations. And then there's also a couple of gift shops that are here on site. But even if you're not staying here, you definitely are going to want to come in, check out the lodge, go look at the artwork. They have some really interesting artwork pieces here um, from various Indian tribes and from local artists. So even if you're not staying at the lodge, I would highly recommend at least coming in and taking a look and seeing what it looks like. It's just absolutely incredible. So I'm here with Emily and my mom's over there reading. She sure is. And we are inside of the... Sorry, I don't know where we are. This hotel <laughs> I don't know where we are. Obviously, Emily's very invested in this trip. <laughs> it's a fun trip. I just don't know details of anything. Ever. What do you think so far of the, of the canyon? The canyon is very grand. Definitely a canyon. 100% very canyon. Very canyony. Yep. It looks like a movie set. It's pretty weird. It is very weird. <laughs> Okay guys, so we are back on the train. We had a wonderful day at the Grand Canyon and we got to go walk around and see some of the sights. We got to see the canyon obviously and we ate at a food truck and we just kind of hung out. What'd you Read think? Read some books, it was pretty fun. Yeah. Got to uh, read in the shade facing the Grand Canyon. That was, that was pretty nice, I like that. It was very neat. Mom, what'd you think? Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We're going to take the train back um, and that's it for today. So if you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and I would love if you would subscribe to the channel. I do release new videos every week and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!